Welcome back, everyone. This is them, Crooked Vultures, live in Melbourne on Friday night. Look at the crowd going off. Look at Dave Grohl going off. As a trio, their pedigree is hard to beat. From the left, Dave Grohl of the Foo Fighters and Nirvana, John Paul Jones of Led Zeppelin in the middle, and Josh Holm of Queens of the Stone Age on the right. In that footage, you really looked like you were enjoying yourselves, lads. Yeah, we, we were. <laughs> <laughs> We all love playing music, and the music that we make together, um, it's, it's, it's really fun to, to be in a band with other musicians that, that you're trying to please, you know? So when I'm on stage, you know, I'm, I'm excited, I'm happy that there's an audience there and, and that they're getting off on what we're doing, but for the most part, you know, I like, to, I like to entertain the other guys in the band while we're playing, so if John and I are sort of facing each other during this section of a song, we'll sort of throw things back and forth to entertain each other, and there are moments where Josh comes into the drum set, and you know, it's, I think that not only do we enjoy each other's company, but we enjoy each other's musical company while we're playing live. <laughs> David Josh, the temptation must be to show off to John. You know, I mean, here you are with one of the great bass players from one of the great bands who, who were big before you were born. Well, he's seen it all before, so it's not yeah. like we're going to really That's blow him right. away. Uh, yeah. Frankly, I do most of the showing off backstage, and so by the time we get on stage, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty—I'm I'm spent for being an arrogant bastard, you know. John, you've been in New Zealand before. You came here with Led Zeppelin in 1972 when Dave was a toddler and Josh was a fetus. What do you remember of that tour? It, if I may, real quick, uh, my fetus won Best in Show that year, so. <laughs> We played a um, big open air show uh, and it was open and airy <laughs> and it was great. I loved it. And there was, the country was just full of Morris Oxford. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, Josh, what makes a rock and roll band, this band, any band, work? Is it chemistry? Is it mutual respect? Is it luck? What is it, do you think? Um, honestly, I, I, I love. Um, chemistry that looks a little bit odd on paper. I always take inspiration from people that are off the beaten path and, and um, so when I look at the chemistry of this band it makes absolute sense to me. It almost seems like we're at different points along the, of the same highway um, of inspiration. And, and um, uh, frankly, I, I, I also, everyone here is, is kind of a, is a hard worker. And I, I need that sort of willingness to put your, to work yourself to the ground, you know, because that's what makes the difference to me. Is is uh, you know, when you rest in music, uh, I don't know. I don't have the same amount of respect for people that rest too much. John, do you agree with Josh? Hard work. We always hear about drugs, alcohol, and marketing and rock and roll. Is hard work the key as you see it? Yeah, extremely hard. I mean, I've never been in a band that's not worked, to be honest. Well, not for longer than five minutes, anyway. <laughs> but everybody has to really put the same commitment and, uh, and yeah, and, and, and work into it. And, and we do, we take our music, I mean, we have a lot of fun making our music, but we take it extremely seriously. Thanks, guys. Really lovely to talk to you all. Enjoy your time in New Zealand. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, John. Them Crooked Vultures play Wellington this Friday, Auckland, Saturday.